Peter. Sky high printing costs have consumers and lawmakers up in arms. Would you believe just one single gallon of the priciest Prinker Jet ink would cost you a whopping $9,600? With that kind of money, you could buy 2,900 gallons of regular unladded gas. <laughs> nice comparison. That's a good comparison. <laughs> well, now New Jersey lawmakers are proposing a plan to require manufacturers to include the average cost to print. And here now, to t tell us all about this is Bill Swanson. He is the uh, Cartridge World's North American CEO and Global CFO. So, Bill, you are well qualified to, to address <laughs> this you. issue, and thank you for being here. Why is it, and it's been this way since I think printers were first invented, why is it ink so expensive? Ink is so expensive because the manufacturers want it to be so expensive. Basically, these days, it's a razor and razor blade model. The manufacturers of your printer will practically give that printer away for you or to you because they know that in three to five years, the average lifespan that you have that printer, you will be needing a lot of. I don't ink. mean to dwell on this point, but I'm fascinated by that because everybody talks about it, how expensive this is. If you have a home printer, you surely know. Why isn't there a competition that enters the market says, "Wait, our actual costs are here. We'll sell this." to you way right. under the price yeah. of all the others and will lower the market. It's, it's interesting. Kodak tried that model. Kodak came out with a fair priced printer and a fair priced yeah. ink. Yeah. And what happened was people look at the immediacy of what they're buying and they compare the price of the printer and the of one and the price of the printer from somebody else and they determine that this printer is cheaper. Isn't it they good? don't think about the lifetime value of it. Oh, gotcha. So now we have lawmakers weighing in, which to me is <laughs> never a good thing. They're yeah. going to bring in <laughs> regulation and all of these things. What's your thoughts on that? Is that going to do anything uh, worthwhile? Uh, my belief is it's going to shed a light on it. And okay. what Cartridge World tries to do is shine a light on that as well. Mm. And we want to help you understand what it costs to print. And so when you go into one of our stores and talk to one of our knowledgeable store people, they will help you understand what's the best printer for you and what's the best ink based upon your needs and what you print. And so over the life of that printer, we will help save you money. Now, Bill, our, uh, Ashley and our, our reaction was, oh no, the government's getting get involved. This is going to be a mess. But from someone with the expertise to be talking about this, you feel that uh, they could actually you know, bring prices down, they could actually help what's going on in the ink world? They, they can bring more visibility to it and mm. it'll be up to all of the manufacturers or one to lead the race to say mm. they could save money. At Cartridge World we already do that for you, so we recognize that the price is high and we're out there to save you up to 30% off. Now do you specialize in remanufactured cartridges? Yes, we do. Uh, PC World said they often didn't measure up when they did their mm -hmm. testing. How would you r respond to that? Well, our, our cartridges are quality cartridges. We would put them up against any other cartridge out there, and we encourage you to go into the store and see them side by side between an original link and a Cartridge World link. So you have eight stores in New York City. Mm -hmm. um, so wait, now, now I'm wondering, what, what book are you talking then? So you're, you're, in the, you're selling these... Uh, as a third party, you're selling these ink cartridges. Yes. And you're saying you're undercutting the market by 30%. Uh, we are 30% cheaper than the original printer manufacturer. So I just don't understand why you're not winning the game. Well, people don't know about us. We need to get <laughs> out there. Well, here's your well, commercial. Right. There you go. Thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> is there what, what tips can you give for people to use less ink? I mean, sure. there's got to be some <laughs> big mistakes that we Don't all use. Don't print photographs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Everybody likes photographs, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. we're all right with you printing photographs as well. Uh, there are tools out there. There's one tool we have on our website. It's called Print Eco, and it allows you to print. If you're on the website and you want to print something out, yeah. and you have all the other noise around it, and when you print the one page and six comes out, what it does right. is it gets rid of all the other noise. So come to our store. We'll set you up Aww. with the Print Eco program. Um, and then also you can print in draft mode. Draft mode allows you to save ink. It doesn't look as good as what would come out in a regular mode, right. but it helps uh, Look, Bill, I have usage. advice for you. Have a phone number people can call when it runs out and they're sitting in their house and you guys will just drive somebody over to replace the cartridge <laughs> uh, at home delivery service. That's what everybody and, needs. And even better, our stores have, a, have an icon that you can use and just click on that. All right. and Love it. Bill Swanson, you. thank you so much. Bill Swanson, my pleasure. Cartridge thank World, you for the opportunity. If you haven't heard of it, Cartridge World, you are the North American CEO and global CFO. <laughs> thank you. That's a good title. Bill, thank Appreciate you for being it. here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, giving new meaning to 